Let's take a look, shall we? Alrighty lads, so good training, good training. Basically this week was uh, the first week, four weeks out, that I started to notice something that I'm really prepping. Getting up earlier, no matter how tired I am, I wake up refreshed. You know, the average sleep is now around approximately five hours and 15 minutes based on the aura ring. Sleep deprivation is a real thing, folks. 2015, I was a zombie, but I have to say that overall doing the prep, I have zero things that are considered prep-like feelings. Today's training, and like previous trainings, I'm actually getting stronger on all exercises. I am pulling weights that, even during the lean bulk, were pretty hard, which is kind of crazy. So, things are going great. Today was really the shape that we are chasing and we are after. The dissections, the insertions of the muscle are so visible, it's crazy. And today was also the bump up from the coach, in which he said, you need to eat more, Rico, but you don't want to lose weight any further from this point or not at the rate it is going now. We are pretty much finished when it comes down to the shape. Means that we are going from 160 to 200 grams of carbs. That's life. You cannot imagine when you're living for a long time on 130 grams of carbohydrates going to, to 160. That's a big bump up. But going from 160 to 200 is like magic. It's life. All right. We'll see, we have more flexibility, just just 20 grams of carbs, even 10 grams of carbs makes a difference between having a nice meal and just a little bit more carbs. All right, folks, so as you can see with the outside light, yeah, pumped. Um, didn't have a lot of carbs today, had some cake. But as you can see in the bank, you see that lat, then you know. We are shredded. Ah, time for food, folks. Man, my face, skeleton. I will leave this beard on because if not, I will look like a kid that is 18 years. Some gray hairs growing over there, so, you know, I can truly say that I'm 32. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are officially three weeks out. Yes, three weeks it is. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much ready. But what we have here is a bunch of supplements, drinks, 
I am running through whey protein like a madman because I'm making a lot of recipes as of lately. And kind of the same pattern that I had in 2015. You know, I can eat more, so that's good stuff. And probably bring you today into a full day of eating because um, I'm going to employ a refeed day today. We'll see what we're going to have. It's going to be a great day. And uh, But let's take a look what's in these boxes. All right, let's open box number one. You know, there are certain things in prep that are saving my butt. That's one thing for sure. We have Lipton Icy Green Mango Zero. Zero drinks are savior, folks. Savior. This one I really love. Bang Energy. And a new monster that I haven't tasted before. And they had it as well. I think Ultra Rose. So we'll see what that tastes like. This will get me going for the next three weeks. Of prep. Box number two. I also was running out uh, of uh, essential amino acids, and we're ordering with bulk, where I get my usually my uh, my supplements. But that takes a very long time. I needed to have it quick. So we have BCAA aminos from Woman's Best. Yeah, it's a woman supplement, but hey, BCAAs are BCAAs, right? They have their own whey protein and they say it's very nice and fluffy. I'm gonna try it out. And as my lady is drinking all my shakes, she can have that one. I literally started to drink protein shakes of my dad uh, when I was younger. Those were from Dimatize. Dimatize had one of the best vanilla shakes by far. So, you know, we have the Dimatize Elite, 100% Elite Gourmet Whey. Vanilla, I'm wondering if it's going to taste the same as it was like 17 years ago. So that will be it. Just whey protein, aminos, the rest I still have, and a bunch of zero drinks. When it comes to dieting, it's magic. Normally I train like in the afternoon or in the evening sometimes, but today is a refeed day. That means that the protein are a little bit lower. Don't want to have too much protein because I want to have big, you know, evening meals. So we work out, we are going to work out now. One scoop of whey, 10 grams of BCAAs. Uh, normally I take essential amino acids, but they are finished now. I need to wait before that to enter. We're gonna have tapioca starch, 10 grams. Creatine, electrolyte powder making sure that the hydration levels are good. It's pretty much always my intra-workout shake for now. Still get some protein in, still get some fast carbohydrate of the tapioca and all is good. Let's get it done. Finish with training folks. So it was pretty fine. Let's take a look, shall we, at the shape. getting almost well we are actually ready today was a little bit higher in weight but yeah we'll see still gonna have a review day I figured out today yesterday's pre bedtime dessert was freaking amazing now you have all seen the oreo cookie breakfast which was again amazing but this one is with we have in the netherlands strobafel it's like a cookie with syrup between it it's Bang. That I really wanted to have today. The other thing we're going to eat is one of my favorite is bavette. Piece of steak with rice cooked in cucumber sauce, onions, garlic, vegetables, butter. We're gonna get that fixed. So we only have three meals. So I had the intro workout, which was not a lot in terms of protein, one scoop of protein. And then in about around five o'clock, we will get in the evening meal. And after that, in the evening pre-bed time, we will get in the banger banger dessert snack bro. Two days before the contest, we are going to do the polygraph testing in Amsterdam. So that's going to happen. So there's going to be a detective gonna put me on the polygraph. He's going to ask me questions. Once passed, after two days after that, the competition is. So we are, yeah, like I said, three weeks out exactly. I probably will be on stage exactly around this time. Man, it's been a long time. You know, I still have to prepare with all the music. I still have to prepare the posing routine. Usually I do the posing like on the same day or the day before I prepare that. You know, the thing is once I hear music, you know, the flow starts 
and I've done it for so many times that easy thing to do. The week before that, we are at one week out. On a Saturday, we will do a photo shoot with my uh, dear friend Frank. He is my, you know, my photographer every single time. So we are making the whole thing again in terms of pictures. On the same day, we are shooting the last pieces of the documentary before contest is going to start. So that's going to be exciting as well. So there will be the third shooting day. And after that, we have a bunch of shootings still going on for the documentary, going to the European IMBA. And, you know, we have a, we have a couple of things that we still want to do. So folks, it's going to be a masterpiece. Can't wait for this all to happen. It's been a long time, but prep went actually pretty fast. A lot of people also say on the Instagram, you lost weight so quickly, it's crazy. But we have been prepping now for six and a half months. I have to say, time went fast. Time went fast, especially with all the kids. Time flies, so yeah. All right, groceries are done, folks. Buffet it is. So, uh, I had to adjust a little bit uh, the macros in order to have that uh, lovely dessert tonight. So I had to scale back a little bit on the proteins and uh, just gonna be a, a smaller sludge. In order to have a post-workout shake, because otherwise, you know, I was finishing my training in around 12 and uh, then from 12 till six, I would have nothing and I would actually nutrition my body post-workout so we're now getting to a smoothie um, frozen blueberries always so this is what we have in the Netherlands throw waffle is this cookie is freaking amazing all right let's favorite meal as you can see a bunch of rice are you ready folks look at that bro this is by far one of the most my favorite meals this comes down to the refeed, high protein, carbs, everything, we're gonna so dig in. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my, one of the favorite as of lately, evening dessert. So this is kind of thick, but there's going a bunch of nice stuff into this. Basically whey protein with a protein cafe latte pre-made shake that we have here in the supermarkets. It's actually with a double espresso shot, which is quite nice in the whey protein itself. So we open one banana, as we cut the banana in half, but not fully through. Only opens up just a little bit, like so. And now this paste that we have, put in between. This is crazy good. I like presentation a lot. If you put the banana on top of this, chop the banana in pieces so we can spread it out just a little bit. So now we have something like this. Blueberries. Now we have this. Sour waffle. Almost too good to be true. And we make small pieces. And now we have this. We are not done yet. Last but not least, folks, cinnamon. This is a feast. This was your full refeed day. I tried to keep it simple today. I could have made much bigger meals by the way that the buffet was a big meal. But there's something sweet to taste now before bed. And literally enjoy this fudge, banana, caramel, cookie. Oreo cookie is good, this one is killer.